Questioning is an important aspect of the process of education in general and the process of teaching in particular. There is an important saying that teaching is the art of asking good questions. What are good questions? So questions have been divided into different types and one categorization is based on the terminology of lower order and higher order questions. What are these questions? This is what we will respond to in this discussion. So as I said in the beginning, questions are at the core of an effective educational process. So generally we cannot uh, think of an effective educational process in the total absence of questions on the part of teachers and students. Um, and effective teachers are therefore often those who ask right questions at the right time, mainly because these help students in focusing their, in their attention on the process of learning, in finding the place where the students are in the process of, of, of education and learning, and also questions, these questions help teachers in continuously evaluating and estimating the effectiveness of their teaching. Um, that is why effective teachers are teachers who ask questions and who encourage students to ask questions. So um, this, is, this was about the importance of questions, but then there, are, there is a variety of questions in terms of structure, content, aims, and usefulness. And so this, this, is, this is something that we will respond to in the remaining presentation. So generally, um, in terms of aims, um, we can say that there are two types of, of questions, the lower order questions and the higher order questions. So first, the lower order questions are generally questions that are aimed at responses that generally need recall <clears throat> or memory or factual information on the part of the respondents. Uh, so in lower order questions, uh, generally the respondents do not need uh, much critical thinking or analysis. And they are generally, they, such questions generally begin with words such as who, what, when, where, and which, etc. But this is not always the case and we will respond to this in the later stage of the presentation. So here are some examples of such questions. Um, when did man land on the moon for the first time? This is a question that we can categorize as the lower order question because it is simply, uh, this is simply in response to the factual knowledge of the respondent. Who invented the telephone? Um, now again, this is a knowledge question. And the third one, where is the UN headquarters located? So again, this is something that is a question of factual nature. Now, the questions of higher order or higher order questions are questions that are aimed at responses um, that generally need the abilities of analysis, critical thinking, evaluation, and synthesis on the part of the respondents. These are the words that we will respond to uh, uh, briefly. So these questions generally begin with words such as why, how, and what if, etc. But this, again, this is not always the case because in some cases higher order questions might be asked um, in different structures and, and we will have examples of those in the coming slides. So why do people need to sleep? Now this is a question. Um, that is not simply a recall or memory or knowledge question, but actually needs some level of critical thinking and analysis 
uh, on the part of the respondent. How can one uh, live a successful life? Again, this is a question that is something that will, uh, that will need critical analysis uh, on the part of the respondent. And what if you were removed from your job tomorrow? Again, this is something that, that, is, um, that will invite reflection and prospective uh, reflection on the part of or futuristic thinking on the part of the respondent and as a result there is a good level of analysis that is required in order to answer such question so that is why this is this this is considered as high ordered question um, as I said uh, previously that higher order questions may not always begin with WH uh, the, uh, uh, always begin in WH form. Um, uh, that is why, how, which, etc. Instead, words such as elaborate, compare and contrast, analyze, create or develop, evaluate and justify are some of the uh, some of the other words that can that can be used as um, in in terms of asking higher order questions. So, for example, here are examples. Honesty is the best policy. Please elaborate. Now here, when, when the respondent is elaborating, they are actually giving, they, they, they will be giving examples uh, of, in order to justify this claim that is honesty is the best policy. And so that is why Elaborate this. This is a higher order question. Similarly, compare and contrast the merits of teacher-centered and student-centered approaches to classroom teaching. Again, there is there will be comparison and there will be contrast with, between these two uh, methodologies or approaches to teaching. And so we can say this is a higher order question which will need uh, to. Uh, so there will be need for the respondent to analyze these two approaches in order then to come up with their response. Similarly, analysis um, analyze the contemporary U.S.-Russian political relationship. Again, the respondent has to break down this, uh, this phenomena, the U.S.-Russian relationship, into parts in order to understand and present it. Evaluate democracy as a form of government in developing countries. Again, this is a question that has not begun with, uh, with WOH, but there is evaluation. So that actually, uh, um, the, the, the thing that the respondent will do here is actually to put value judgment on the uh, merits and demerits of democracy as a form of government in the developing countries. Similarly, justify your choice of future career. Again, there is uh, prospective thinking involved here. And so when, they, when someone is justifying their future career, they need to do uh, analysis of the current situations and then to think prospectively, uh, futuristically, and obviously, there is a good deal of involvement of the, um, of the higher order thinking that is analysis and synthesis and evaluation of situations. Um, so question types um, depend, again, not just on what, uh, the what of certain words, but also the how of these. So, it's not just this, the, the words, but also the structures that make a question lower order or higher order. For example, here we can see that the words such as what, when, where, and who have been used both in questions that are lower order and higher order. So on the left side, you see a use of what in the first question, what is your name? It's a lower order question because it's a recall or knowledge question. Similarly, when did you get married? Again, it's a recall question um, or a memory question. 
But the same what and when are used in higher order. Uh, for example, you can see what makes you angry. Again, so there is some level of analysis over here. Although the word what has been used. Similarly, when should one get married? Again, this is, this, there is analysis in this and there is futuristic thinking in this. And so this is, a high, this is the use of when in higher order question. Similarly, where is your uh, best friend? This is knowledge question. And so lower order, who is the president of Pakistan? Again, this is lower order question. But the same where and who you can see in the third and fourth on the right side, where, where can we find peace of mind? Now, the same word where, but the question is higher order because it invites the respondent to think uh, critically and to analyze situations and to come up with a decision. And then the fourth one, who in your opinion is the best teacher in your school? Again, there is, there is need for analysis and evaluation of teacher's characteristic on the part of the respondent in order to be able to answer this question. So the last part is that the types of questions are also in terms of structure, um, such as closed questions where there is one answer or multiple answers. And generally the answers are provided and so the respondent generally uh, has to choose from the given choices. Um, the open-ended questions, on the other hand, uh, are more useful in terms of asking higher order questions. So here in open-ended questions, the responses or answers are generally longer and dependent on the respondent's choice in terms of word limit, etc. And lastly, linked questions. Linked questions basically is a series of more than one questions revolving around a central idea being explored. And so this is also called Socratic dialogue because linked questions are actually asked as a series of questions um, related to a particular uh, topic of interest. So the, the questioner asked the first question and then the respondent answered that question and from the respondent answer, respondent's answer, the questioner or the inquirer asks a second question and then a third question and a fourth question and so this goes on until the topic has been explored to the substantial satisfaction of the questioner or the inquirer.